I'm so excited to film this video today because I have a haul and I haven't filmed a haul video in forever. I just haven't been shopping that much and I've really missed it. So I purchased a few things the other day from Beauty Joint, which is an online makeup site that sells a lot of brands like NYX and ELF and Milani and What n Wild and all those kinds of brands that I can't get like accessible to me here in Australia. So I did a bit of shopping on the site and I got the stuff yesterday, which I actually tried to film like an unboxing um, haul, but all the stuff was wrapped in like 500 layers of bubble wrap. So I couldn't film um, an unboxing kind of thing. I bought eight things. I actually got really worried. Just a quick little story to tell you guys. Um, I went downstairs yesterday to open all this up with like scissors because I couldn't get into it. And I came upstairs and came to film everything and one of the um, items that I bought was missing and I was really bummed because I was like I've never ordered from Beauty Joint before and I wanted to have like a good experience with it first hand but luckily as I went back into my room because I decided not to film because the weather was like horrible and stuff like that I noticed it was on the floor so I have all eight items here to get started I guess the first thing that I picked up was one of the NYX um, black label lipsticks which just comes in a package like this and I got this in the shade India and I was really excited to get this. Um, one of the main reasons I wanted to get this lipstick in particular was because I always see it on um, Shannon from Shan XO on YouTube and I absolutely love it on her so I really wanted to pick it up. So it just basically looks like this and I would show you the name of it but it always tends to be up the wrong way whenever I show it. So I don't know. <laughs> but um, it's basically just a really, really pretty kind of corally pink nude and it's actually coming up um, like true to colour on camera but it's just really, really pretty. So I picked that up. It is a bit kind of like corally peachy. Um, I thought it was going to be like a bit more of a, like a true nude colour but I do really like it. These are pretty like, I don't know, they're kind of expensive but they're $8.00. Or something like that I think on the website but I picked that one up this is the one that I thought was actually um, the lipstick that was missing from everything that I bought so I'm really glad that I actually had that sticking on to lip products I picked up one of the NYX soft matte lip creams and I got this in Istanbul which is just basically um, a kind of like a mauvey pink it's actually kind of comes out because I tried this yesterday as a kind of like a purpley color Actually, I'll do a swatch just so you can, guys can kind of see what the colour looks like. So that's the colour there. It comes out kind of like a purpley, mauvey, like dark pink. Um, the smell of this is amazing. Like it smells like candy. It's, oh, it's great. <laughs> I love it. But the only thing I don't really like about it is the finish. Like, I don't know, I'm not that into matte. And when I put it on, I was like, this is weird. This is weird. Like I've never tried anything like this before. But um, I'm just definitely going to keep trying it out. And I do like the colour. It's a really like natural kind of pink, like a natural mauvey kind of pink. So pick that up. And the last lip product that I got was a Wet n Wild lipstick in number 966 Don't Blink Pink. And I think this is just their um, Wet n Wild Mega Last Matte Lip Colour. And it's basically just a really like a raspberry kind of hot pink. Looks like that. It's really pretty. Um, I really have been liking wearing like brighter lip colours lately, so I just thought that I'd pick that up. And it is really nice and really moisturising. So yeah, I haven't really like tried all of this stuff, but I did like quickly try a few things yesterday because I was like, I got it yesterday and I really wanted to try everything, but then I wanted to film a video. But this is a really nice colour. Next off, I'll start with eye products. So I picked up this eyeshadow from Milani. It's the Baked Eyeshadow in 615 Fusion. It's the Marbleized Baked Eyeshadow. And it comes in a package like this. And then it basically is the one that looks like this with just kind of the purpley, golden, like bronzy colours. And I think this is absolutely gorgeous. I think this would look so nice just all over the lid. And I'll do a swatch for you so that you can see. It's just a really pretty, like, bronzy, purpley gold colour. It just looks absolutely gorgeous, if you can see it there. Um, it's just really shimmery, and I really like it. I thought that it looked nice um, on the site, and when I looked it up, um, to just kind of see what the colour was. So that's it there. really like it. And then I picked up an e.l.f. Studio um, single eyeshadow, which comes in a package like this. 
and this is in the color Sand Dollar, which I'll open up to show you guys. I'm really a fan of just like really shimmery kind of pearly white eyeshadows, just to wear as like a base with a darker color in the crease, or just to wear all over the lid with some liner as kind of my everyday neutral eye if I'm wearing a, um, a brighter lip or something like this. Um, it's just a really small like eyeshadow, and then if you open it up, it actually comes in the mirror as well, which I think is quite nice. Um, I'll just hide that, but it's basically just um, a white eyeshadow. I don't know if you can see the shimmers, but that's it there basically. Um, I know it's not a very good swatch, but you can kind of see like the shimmers in it anyway. Um, it's just really, really pretty, and so I thought that would just be a really nice kind of eyeshadow to wear on a like daily basis. And then I picked up two of the Wet n Wild um, Color Icon face products. So the first one I got. And these both are like really popular. I've seen them quite a lot on YouTube. The first one I got was the bronzer in Princess. I did, no, Goddess. Goddess. So I don't know why it's reflecting. <laughs> I think it's the packaging. But it just basically looks like this. And it has the sun in it. Um, this is the lighter colour, I believe. I think there was another one that was darker, which is Princess. Or maybe it was more orangey. But I just got this to try out. I mean, I like um, the bronzer that I have at the moment. It's not my like favourite bronzer at all. Um, it's the one from Rimmel. But I just wanted to try a different one um, to just see whether I like this one. This one didn't look as orangey as the bronzer that I'm using at the moment, so that's why I decided to purchase it. Then I got one of the like popular blushes that they have, which is Heather Silk, and it basically is just a really nice kind of dark mauvey pink. It's coming out quite bright. I know, it's quite dark. But um, you can see it there. It's just like a dark mauvey pink colour. It's really, really pretty, and I thought that I would give it a go because I hear a lot of stuff about Wet n Wild, and I've never purchased anything I don't think from Wet n Wild, so I decided to pick that up. And then one thing I'm so excited about, I got the um, Clean Colour Be My Daydream Sweet Romance Nail Lacquer Mini Collection. And if you go onto the site or you're familiar with Clean Colour, you'll probably see this one. I'm really sorry for the, um, the light reflecting thing. I might just take it out, but it comes in a package like this, and then it comes with six um, nail polishes, which are kind of like mini nail polishes. Really, really adorable. There's this hot pink one. There's this one, if you can see, with like hearts, um, which I've actually tried. That's probably like my least favorite because the hearts don't come out that much. And then there's kind of like a dark red, um, a light kind of like Barbie pink, a silver, and then there's this shimmery um, red one, which looks like this. And it's just really pretty. I can see myself getting like a lot of use out of these. So yeah, um, so that's basically it for my beauty joint haul. I know I haven't done a haul in like ages, so I just wanted to film this one because I was really excited to finally film a haul after ages and to film a haul from Beauty Joint, which is the first time I've ordered this stuff. I would definitely repurchase from them again. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.